and training. Not if you just joined us, you're watching Super Screen News. So we'll take a short break here. And when we return, we'll bring you business news. Just Well, it's so glad to have you back and now in business news. As part of the efforts to prevent private businesses in Nigeria from destruction uh, through fake news, uh, companies have been urged to establish in-house facts, uh, checking units and collaborate with investigative journalists to expose and prosecute those responsible for spreading false news. This forms the report of a facts to check in research carried out by a misinformation team led by the executive director of International Press Center, IPC, Comrade Larry Arugundade, on the survival of private businesses in Nigeria. Arugundade reeled out the report recently at the private sector coalition a meeting on, dis on disinformation held at Nigeria Employers Consultative Association, NECA, in Ikeja, Lagos. We had a total of uh, 16 articles that were monitored or factored for, for fake news or disinformation in this uh, report. And uh, we noticed in this uh, uh, summary that uh, fake news uh, purveyors continue to improve on their strategies, leveraging the national economic crisis, uh, especially by way of uh, fake loans and grants, and I think we need to note this, that uh, we are talking about fake news. It's an industry on its own, and it's technology-driven, and every day uh, they, are, they are inventing new ones. Fintech and banking institutions maintain the status of being the biggest uh, targets. They are the most targeted. Uh, that particular you know, this, uh, part of a business, the financial, you know, the fintech, and the banking institutions. Then the fourth observation, by way of uh, the summary of this report, is that uh, members of the public uh, continue to be major sources of uh, disinformation and misinformation. While against, the uh, findings reveal that misinformation, malformation, or fake news could be a threat to businesses, Arugodade tasks of private businesses on scam alert activation department to track scammers. He speaks further on the team's recommendations. The first is that business firms should uh, strengthen their PR departments to upscale their media monitoring strategy, focusing more on the quality of conversation happening on social media space. Then we think that uh, the organized private sector should entrench in-house fact-checking units in their respective PR departments and ensure factual reports are given the necessary wider reach they deserve. Uh, in other words, uh, when we notice that some things are false, we really have to go all out to uh, let people know about this. But I still need to invest in automated media and information literacy delivered to their customers through SMS and voice calls, as not all customers. So staying with 